Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a very warm welcome to each and every one of you to Vidyaniketan Public Schools, India Insight. It's a quiz that was conceptualized by the founder principal of the school, Mrs. Prema Rajagopal, way back in 2004. It was her vision and foresight that we should have the youth of this nation extremely positive about our own country and knowledgeable as they will prepare themselves to move across the whole world. Today, that vision is so true as youngsters travel all over the world, not just to work, but to study further as well. Here today, moving into this quiz that has been created to celebrate India, we have a young Indian, a passionate one at that, as our host. She is an alumnus of NITK Suratkal, took to quizzing as her career, the only lady across Asia to do it professionally. She was recently acknowledged by the Business Today group as 40 among 40 for the year 2020 for her contributions to education and to the world of content creation. Without much ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome your host, Miss Rashmi Futado. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the India Inside Quiz of the Junior category. So today we have with us four of our semi-finalists whom we have shortlisted from over 15,000 children who took part across nine countries of this world. From the, from, from the first round, we had about 500 who qualified to the second round. And from the second round, we had top 32 qualifying to the quarterfinal. And after multiple rounds of quizzing, these kids have done amazingly well for themselves and finally reached a little closer to that world final. But yes, more and more you get closer to the world final, more difficult it is going to get. So let's see how all these kids are going to do here today. Before we move on, let me invite Mr. Vijay Krishna Rajagopal, an erudite leader and the director of the Vidyaniketan Public School to join us. He has over 15 years of experience as an academic and an educator. He holds a master's degree in education with honours from the University of Western Australia. A very good quizzer himself, he is the world runner-up of the World Teachers Quiz. Mr. Vijay, if you could please join us and share your thoughts. Dear students, Welcome to India Insight online quiz. We are really happy that we are able to host the India Insight quiz online. This quiz was conceptualized in the year 2004 by our founder principal, late Srimati Prema Rajagopal. As a school, we always believe that children need to be instilled with the values and traditions of our great country. And this was the genesis of India Insight. We are really happy to note that many schools from the country are taking part. Also, there are many schools from abroad that are sending their students to participate in this global event. I wish all the students the very best. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vijay. But before we get to the quiz, let me introduce all of them to you. First up, we have Akshobhya Upadhyay. He is from Vidyaniketan Public School, Bengaluru. Following him, we have Aman Manoj. He's from Bhavans Vidya Mandir, Ernakulam. Up next is Raghav Krishna. He's from DAV Public School, Kanchipuram. And completing our lineup here today, we have Shrikhar. He's from Lakshmi Pat Singhanya Academy, Kolkata. Wonderful. So now that we know our semi-finalists, let's get into the semi-final itself. 
the rules of the game have been explained to these kids but let me quickly go over again the scoring pattern plus 50 minus 50 all through the quiz single attempt per question all the questions on the buzzer if no one answers or no one presses the buzzer for about five seconds the question will die since the time has lapsed and I will move on to the next question. The kids here are aware of the other rules. So let me get into round one of the semi-final India at a glance. Here we go. All right, kids, all the best to you. Do well. What I have for you in this round are a couple of keywords. This is an oral round, so I will read out the entire question for you while having some keywords for you on the screen. You know rest of the rules? One attempt only, plus 50, minus 50. Good luck to you. Question number one on your screens now. Who composed Prithviraj Raso and Epic? Ma'am, Chand Bhardai. Plus 50 to you, Raghav. You're absolutely right. Chand Vardai, the answer I was looking for. For the first question, he's already bagged 50 points. Let's see how the rest of the quiz goes. Moving on, question number two. What is the name given to Isro's Venus? They do not allow me to complete the question. Akshobhya, go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Shukrayan. Shukrayan is very eager to give the answer. Plus 50. Absolutely right. Plus 50 to you, Akshobhya. Moving on, question number three. What is the name of India's highest peacetime military decoration awarded for valor and courageous action away from the battlefield? It's an award that is given. But yes, courage and valor away from the battlefield. That is what's important in this. Ah, time lapsing. Sorry, guys. The answer I was looking for, ladies and gentlemen, is the Ashok Chakra Award. Ashok Chakra Award would have given them a plus 50, but no one taking a chance on that. Moving on to question number four, the last question of this round. Here we go. Name the program launched by the Government of India on 5th April 2016 to support entrepreneurship among women. Alright, let me give you a further clue. It is also done to support entrepreneurship uh, beyond women in the SCST communities as well. All right, no one trying and time lapsing there. The answer I was looking for, Stand Up India. That would have fetched them 50, but I think they're being very careful. They are one step closer to the world final. They do not want to take unnecessary negatives. I understand what they're doing. They're playing their strategies right. Let's move on to round two of this quiz. Incredible India, here it comes. Right. So in this round, guys, what I have for you is multiple visuals. I have images that will come up on your screen and I will have corresponding questions to go with it. It's up to you if you want to take the risk and not wait for me to read out the questions. You may just want to look at the screen and give me the answer, but the risk is yours. I may have some important corresponding information. Again, it's all your decision decision making in quizzing. Let's see how these kids play. First visual coming up on your screen for a plus 50 or a minus 50. Here we go. Meenakshi Amman temple in Madurai is situated on the banks of which river? Amman on the buzzer, go ahead. Kaveri. Kaveri giving you a minus 50 Amman. Minus 50, I'm so sorry. The answer I was looking for, the Wagai River. Moving on, question number two, the next visual on the screen now. Identify this traditional Shrikar on the buzzer. Go ahead, Shrikar. 
Ma'am, this is the Bihu festival of Assam. This is celebrated for the harvest. Plus 50, I give it to you. Plus 50, Bihu. The answer actually I was looking for was Bihu dance, but Bihu is the festival and this dance is performed there. He's absolutely right. Plus 50 is what he gets. Moving on, question number three. Here we go. It's a controversial policy called the doctrine of lapse, which was developed or rather propagated. Shrikhar on the buzzer, go ahead. Sir, ma'am, Lord Dalhousie. Lord, He's Lord Dalhousie. Lord Dalhousie, he did not allow me to complete the question. Taking a risk and it pays off. Plus 50, you're absolutely right. Lord Dalhousie, the answer I was looking for. He was actually not one of the people or it's believed that he's not one of the people who developed it, but he used it a lot to obtain a lot of territory for the British East India Company. Moving on, the fourth question of this round. Here we go. Operation Cactus was the code name of the military operation by Indian armed forces to prevent coup d'etat attempt in which neighboring country? Let me explain what that term means. It's spelled as C-O-U-P-D-E-T-A-T. -E it means forcefully uh, taking over a... They don't need an explanation. Shrikhar, go ahead. The Maldives. Maldives. Do you know what this is, Shrikhar? Can you explain it to me? Ma'am, I remember that there was a coup d'etat over there and the Indian government interfered in it and uh, I think they were uh, uh, they were successful in uh, 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 Ma'am, I can't get the words, no but problem. they were able... No problem. Plus 50 to you. You are absolutely right. Ladies and gentlemen, these are kids from the junior category. They know French terms like coup d'etat. They did not need me to explain it to them. I think they are doing wonderfully well for themselves. But before we move on, let me quickly tell you where all of them stand. At 150 is Shrikhar doing extremely well for himself with only two rounds of the quiz being done. And at 50 apiece are both Raghav and Akshobhya. At the minus 50 is Aman, but we have three more rounds of quizzing remaining. So he has a lot of time to ensure that he moves into the positives and does well. So there is where all of our semi-finalists stand. As of now, I would say, I don't think I would bet on anyone as of now. All of them have a fair chance. So before we can continue, I have someone special here waiting to take over the quiz for the rest of the rounds. May I please invite Pigbrain to join us on stage and continue with the quiz for the remaining rounds. Pigbrain, if you could please join us. Thank you, Rashmi. Thank you so much. And uh, really fantastic to see junior kids know so much and the speed at which they are answering. I think that is remarkable and humbling at the same time. But truly appreciate the way you've identified these youngsters from the quarterfinals to the semi-final. And uh, let me see if I can do justice over the next couple of rounds with these amazing youngsters. But truly appreciate this. Thanks a lot, Rashmi. Thank you, Big Brain. Well, wherever we are, let's put our hands together for young Rashmi Futado as uh, she lets her... Very interestingly poised, finally here today, if I look at it from the perspective of the scores, we've got uh, Akshobhya on 50, we've got uh, Aman minus 50, Raga on 50, and Shrikar doing well towards the latter part of that first phase of the quiz, getting to 150. So let's see how it goes from here. Moving on to the next frontier of our battle here today, it's time for us to play what we call India in a word. Here it comes. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you a couple of boxes on your screen with a clue. The number of boxes pretty much indicates the number of letters in the answer. For example, if the answer was India, you would find five boxes on your screen. So it tells you that it's a five box answer or a five letter answer. So if you're good to go, 50 if you get it right, minus 50 if you get it wrong. Let's see how this battle unfolds with the first one coming up on your screen there. As per the census of India 2011, which state or union territory has the highest male literacy rate? 
We've carefully added state or union territory of India. Count your letters. In fact, it's over 95%. I think it's 96.1 or 96.2%. Very high literacy rate in this place, especially male literacy rate. Anybody going for it, think. Someone has. Aman's taking a chance. Go ahead, Aman. Lakshadweep. Oh, beautifully played. He's got it right. Lakshadweep will help him negate the 50 that he had lost. As we go to the second one, on your screens now. Which act passed way back in 1919, Raghav? Rowlet Act. If you can be a little louder. Rowlet, R-O-W-L-A-T-T. Very well played. Rowlet Act is absolutely correct. And it gives him another 50. The game's getting closer. He's on 100. Shrikar is on 150. So it's going to be very interesting the way they're playing it out. As we go to the next one on your screens. Now. It's an Indian river that is named after a goddess. Oh. Going for it is Aman. Well, five letters. Daughter of God Surya. Sister of Shani, Badra, Yamuna and Yama. Hmm. Genga. Well, minus 50 to you. He took a risk on that one. It's a good way to play sometimes to take an initiative or a risk. The answer is the river Tapti. And it turned out to be a tough one. The last one on your screen now. On the 13th of April 1919, a crowd peacefully protest. Go ahead. It's a slice of history. Jallianwala Bagh. They were they accumulated at Jallianwala Bagh, protesting against the arrest of Dr. Satyapal and Dr. Saifuddin Kichlu. Oh, this young lad knows a lot of his history and knows it perfectly as he gets to 200. If my mental math is correct, it puts him in a good position. As we're moving into the penultimate frontier of our game here today, I tell you what, these last two rounds can be crucial, especially for Raghav. Not so much for Shrikar. A shrieker would watch how much Raghav is trying to gain. We move to the penultimate frontier. It's time to pick a few stories from across India. Here it comes. The scoring pattern remains the same. You get a 50 or lose a 50 depending on whether you are right or wrong. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to narrate a story to you. Two parts of the story will appear on your screen at the same time while I can give you some additional information. You can press the buzzer reading the screen or listening to me. Take a call on how you want to play it. But for now, the first story, I am looking for an emperor to evolve. On your screen now. I conferred the title of Raja to Ram Mohan Roy. Go ahead, Raga. Sir, is it Akbar to? Is it Akbar too? Oh, well thought out. Very specifically. Beautiful answer. This young boy is not going to give up. He gets himself a 50. And that takes him to 150, I think. Well, we'll take a look at the scores at the end of this round. But here is the next one coming. It's a tight battle on your screens now. I'm looking for, or rather, I am a form of cuisine. Tande kebab, korma, biryani, nihari, halim are all part of me. I get my name from a dynasty or an empire. What form of cuisine am I? Shrikar. Sir, Mughlai. Mughlai cuisine. From Mughal. From the Mughals. He needs a 50, he gets a 50. Oh, that's a good one. And that takes him again a little forward from Raghav. If he had got it wrong, they would have been on level scores. The next one is something to do with the world of dynasties again on your screen. Now. It's a flag which emerged from an ancient South Indian dynasty. The Pandian dynasty will give it to you. Oh, lovely. 
can you just repeat that for me raghav sir pandian perfect he's got it right and he needs two answers to cross shrikar but he's right behind shrikar question after question let's see if he goes on the next one to draw level with shrikar here's the next one on your screen i'm looking for a famous politician leader of india here it comes i served as an acting prime minister for two terms in india gulzar lal nanda will if my mental math is correct put raghav on par with shrikar superb answer he gets a 50 we will still take a look at that india quotient coming up on your screen there it is on 250 is shrikar on 250 is raghav it's a head on battle akshobhya needs to score a little more but what he needs to tell himself is if i can get the last round right i will reach 250 as well so he's not out of the race but it is the final frontier that's going to determine who will be our third entrant into the world final of india insight 2021 a fantastic quiz created by the vidyaniketan public school as we move into the final frontier india inspired here it comes you're going to get multiple clues on your screen you got to figure out a connection between them and give me an answer on the first one i'm looking for an organization a famous body in india important governmental body if you're ready 50 the value first one on your screen now the chief executive officer is mr amitabh kant the vice chairman is dr rajiv kumar popular members or full time members include mr saraswat professor chand and dr paul it's a very important entity which in its earlier version was known as something else in india nobody 5 seconds of time lapsing tough one for these youngsters it's all about india and sometimes the future of india which is what you are and that's what these people do which is niti ayog well they plan the future of our nation and lead us on the right path to tomorrow as we go to the next one on your screens the answer is a river here it comes oh these are lovely dams a hydroelectric project akshobhya has gone for it go ahead akshobhya tehri dam it is located across the bagirathi river i want a river for an answer okay bagirathi river oh minus 50 my young friend the answer is the satluj and you can actually find the karkam wangtu hydroelectric plant that dam on the right written out there so he really rushed i think on an image which can look a little similar to most dams look alike sometimes so it can be confusing and that's why we left something to read two questions to go it shrikar versus raghav and it's a nervous semi final two people good quizzers as they seem to appear here today an ultimate question you got to give me something significant a connection is a very specific fort here it comes shah jahan was imprisoned by aurangzeb here aman is giving it a go agra fort can i have that again agra fort is perfectly correct Oh, getting that fifty, he gets himself back to that score of nil, but then he's prevented the two youngsters who are battling for it. I think Shrikar or Raga would have gone for it. Final question will determine who's going to go through. Else we're going to have a tiebreaker. But for the moment, here is the final one on your screens now. I'm looking for something extremely important that was created in India commonly referred to by a three letter acronym currently it was a british politician 
who was responsible for drafting this code which is so significant to this lay in India. Go ahead, Shrikar. If you get it right, you're in the world final. Sir, IPC or Indian Penal Code? The IPC or the Indian Penal Code. Shrikar from Kolkata in the national final. No, now it is the world final. Well, look at that smile on the young boy's face. You're allowed to smile more. No harm, Shrikar. Well, he's in the top four of the world. A young girl from Chennai, a young lad from Kerala, and now the third one, another young lad from Kolkata. Those are our three world finalists at this moment. But I tell you what, a superb battle by Raghav. He really played the game well. He knows if he had taken one or two more chances, he could have also won this quiz. Extremely well played, Raghav. Congratulations to you. Hard luck to the other two. But remember, from well over 15,000 people, you are in the top 16 of the world. That is a huge achievement. Your certificates will say that when it reaches you over the next couple of weeks or so. It will take time for us to do that many certificates. But what is important is not where you finish. It's to celebrate a country called India, which is the objective of the Vidya Niketan Public School, as we see a young lad from Kolkata entering the big final. Congratulations to you. And to all of you for being part of this, truly appreciate your presence from my colleague Rashmi, from me, Pig Brain, from all those at Vidya Niketan Public School who created this quiz concept. You're watching India Insight. You would certainly want to see who the fourth qualifier is going to be. That in the next semi-final. Till then, thank you for tuning in. Goodbye.